Joining us now, Chris Farrell, Director of Investigations and Research for Judicial Watch. Uh, you have been busy. Uh, the FBI is busy. Just about everybody in Washington is uh, either running towards something or from something, it seems, these days. Make sense of what is going on for us at the White House, where the Chief of Staff met with five professional uh, professional staff from the F FBI, thought they had worked out a deal where the president, the White House, had massaged that memorandum from the House Intel Committee, and then, despite all of that, out comes the FBI opposing its release. What is going on here? Let me boil it down real simple. The FBI is threatening the president of the United States. How so? Well, you know, they're going to come out. Uh, first of all, they've tried to put him in a corner and say, hey, look, we really don't want you revealing all the criminality uh, that's going on in the organization. And so they're in a very uh, reactive sort of posture. And so they, they broker a meeting with the chief of staff, who's the wrong person to meet with, first of all. Yeah, I would think. And, and then secondly, even after this supposed negotiation where the, where the White House gave up its, its power, gave up its position of authority, they acquiesced to a meeting which never should have happened with five negotiators who I'm sure, you know, call themselves experts, you know, cautioning and warning and, oh, you know, uh, General, uh, General Kelly, this will be a grave problem. So they, they try to intimidate in order to cover up for their criminality. And then when they're all done, they still come out with a statement. When was the last time the FBI came out with a statement on anything, Lou? Yeah, well, it, it's a great point because they haven't, I still haven't seen the Benghazi report. I still have, you know, we can go through the list. Yeah. The and FBI it, yeah, has been a place where truth goes to die and correct. where they're used primarily to cover up. It's a, under FBI investigation. We can't answer your questions. We'll never see you again. Thank you very much. And so these political operators are threatening the president of the United States. They're betraying their oath to the Constitution. They are so defensive and so reactive, trying to cover up for the big FBI machine, which, as Ed Rollins pointed out before, and frankly, has a long history of all sorts of different flavors of corruption. Right. Right. And when the American public learns about what's going on at the headquarters, let me tell you something. There's FBI agents or agencies, uh, field offices all over the country where similar shenanigans are going on. And I'll point a finger directly at El Paso, Texas. There's all sorts of abuse of surveillance, of uh, mail cover, of telephone tap, of uh, intercepts. This, unfortunately, of U.S. Is citizens. Correct, correct. Wow. Things that I personally have reported to the Inspector General of the Justice Department. They know this stuff. This is the worst kept secret in the country. They're terrified. They're embarrassed, and they're they're frantic. And that's why you see them issuing the statement, which attempts to undercut the actions of the chief executive of the United States. It might be more persuasive if the FBI's leadership had any credibility right now with the American people or Congress. I, I, I just want to add this. Uh, if we've got this full screen from Devin Nunes, the chair of the House Intel Committee, uh, talking about uh, the FBI trying to avoid transparency, uh, this is what Nunes said. Here we go. The memo, referring to the House Intelligence Committee memo, contains all the relevant facts on FISA abuse after fighting our demands for these documents for months, the FBI and Department of Justice now seem to be going through a series of increasingly ridiculous, increasingly desperate excuses to avoid transparency, referring to the five professionals who met with John Kelly, the chief of staff. This is getting to be so ignorant uh, and disrespectful of, a, of lawful authority, that is, namely, the head of uh, government, President Donald J. Trump that I can't believe it's being tolerated. Where the hell is the Attorney General? Why are they letting this happen? The Chief of Staff, when he got a call from the FBI, or who, however the communication was affected, the, the response should have been, how dare you? What, do, what are you doing? What are you so afraid of that you're trying to swing the pendulum, the momentum the other way? The President of the United States has signature authority to release anything he wants to. And if he believes in this document and wants it out, mm -hmm. why play these weird little patty cake games with five so-called experts? Well, the reason why 
is because they're afraid or they're a little concerned that the FBI is going to push back hard or further collaborate with people like Mueller to try to attack the legitimacy of this presidency. This is a, another grave threat, not just on Mr. Trump personally, mm -hmm. but it's a threat on the Constitution. What you is, can't let this stuff go on. What should the president do and do now? Release the original memo as drafted by Mr. Nunez and get it out tomorrow morning at about 7 o'clock. Let everybody pick it up and run with it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and there is also a loud message to his chief of staff, get the hell out of the way. This is now a matter of the presidential authority uh, of this government. Uh, it's his prerogative. Yep, absolutely.